Okay, so let's move on to class. Mm -hmm. Last class we discussed uh, what is uh, AWK command and uh, how to SCD command, how to play with SCD command and what is AWT. If we have number of columns, number of more data, how to filter and how to so you know like report that particular file center. Today we will see user management. So mostly how to create users and how to update that user sandal and how to delete user sandal uh, we'll see here. So user management means uh, first come to here. Can you see my screen? AWS console login. AWS console login. Click on here. Click on here. Mm -hmm. PW2RYF Okay, so today we'll see how to user management and how to create users, how to delete users and how to change one user to another user, switch that user, how to change password and all. This is all very simple only, come to here. So generally if you want to see what is the default file, this is the file, cat space slash etc slash passwd, passwd. So if you see here, these are the users, users file. See here already these all are the users. And uh, so right now I am in node one, right now I am in node one and let me create one user if you want to create any user this is a command add this is the command so add new group or if you want to create add new user add user username add user username as user username so before that uh, so there are how to create new group if you want to create any new see if we have uh, we have to use add group and command group name for this permission is required sudo means super user sudo means super user now see here sudo add sudo add group now here it will go to it is asking password and all whatever you want we can add permissions now add user if you want to user add user and in a group whatever group you want to particular group we can give it or simply we can give like this also see add user username i given devops so right now uh, see here i don't have any devops user here if you observe here so we can't see see here now just now i created one user now check it cat space etc slash pass wd pass wd means uh, now we can see devops user now this is the this is the this is the id it is group id user id group id this is the home directory this is the home directory slash home devops so slash home devops if you want to connect this particular user so if you want to connect this particular user we are going to use uh, which user su switch user sudo su switch from one user to another user so right now this is a node one now i want to log into this user I want to go to this particular user. So in that case, uh, this is a command switch user. So su means uh, switch user. Su means switch user. If you want to switch that particular user, and in that case, uh, we are using a uh, switch user. Su space new username. Now see here, su space devops. If you use devops, now see here, I am in uh, 
so pwd 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 see here i am in root only assume means uh, dev apps it is switched up earlier it is in node only right node root up. now see here here uh, earlier we are in node one now if you observe here now we are in also node one now sudo let me check it uh, switch hyphen hyphen dev apps switch user now it is asking password right now we don't have password right first let me check uh, password for first check uh, set the password to first time right a user or else we can disable also how to set password this is the command pass wd username so this is the username cat space clear the screen pwd i am in uh, root only uh, how to set is cat space slash etc slash pass wd okay this is the user now user is created uh, how to set password this user pass wd space the apps okay now it is asking password first set password whatever you want we can set it now password i set now how to switch the user this is the this is the user so su switch user iphone space username dev apps now it is asking see here now i am in which user dev apps user same way if you want to we can create multiple users also if you want to exit from the user exit only now let me create one more user add user username username test user and set the password set the password pass wd and username set the test user now it is asking initial password password contains user okay some What is this bad password? New password. Okay. Wait. Control C. Password uploaded. Test user. User, I am in root only, right? Last ATC. Okay, test user is created. This is the bin and all of Now, if you want to set the password and all, uh, we can set the password also. That is switch with the without option. We can use this one also. Use su command without option, then only user will switch, but environment would be switched. And uh, so, whatever PW is current directory and echo dollar x, whatever you want, uh, we can check it. This all are the same only. Who am I? Who am I means uh, so currently which user I are in now. See here. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I means I am in uh, so I am in root user. Suppose if you log into suppose if you log into dev apps user. Su hyphen dev apps. Uh, if you use dev apps user, who am I? Who am I means logged in user. I am the dev apps user. I am the dev apps user that is the who am i who am i means logged in user and uh, so echo next remaining and all the same only here is uh, x is in a uh, uh, not available because x is environment variable of the one if we have anything uh, so we can call it i don't have anything and uh, what is uh, 
py user 1 and i fun py only user will be switched but not environment and if you want to so switch both user and environment variable that case we are using i fun i fun space user name i fun space user name so now uh, mostly here we are using which one i fun right so mostly you are using which one see here su space dev apps this is the one way and uh, so here it won't change it won't change environment currently we are in uh, root only currently we are in root only so now second way also we can switch the user su switch user iphone space dev apps we can use if you use like this now we can see how it will work so everything it will change environment also it will change earlier it won't change here i missed the iphone space so switch the user but uh, it won't change environment if you use su space iphone and devops means now in this case it will change the environment also that is the answer okay iphone user now how to get information about the butler user so this is the finger and username finger and username maybe it won't work let me try it finger means uh, this is the finger command first you need to install so f a n g r f a n g r just dev apps mostly it won't work if it is not there m m install m install f a n g r finger iphone y first we need to install this package in i n install right uh, i n s f i n s t a l l install space finger you need to root user uh, you would be exit from the here and uh, so run command here already you know m m is a command if you want to install m install m install f i n g r finger iphone y now it is installing the finger command so with the help of finger command if you want to know more information about your user and that case we can go for a finger command just more information that's it now su iphone devops and uh, so now see here f i n g r finger devops now if you want to know see here we are getting some information when you see logged in user name directory is home devops shell we are using bash bin bash and last login time and everything no email no plan and all that information and all we can see with the help of finger command now same way and uh, so how to delete the user if you want to delete any user now this is a user right now see here cat space how many users here it is slash pass wd so if you want to delete any user for example uh, i want to delete this user this is the del user del user and user name test user that's it test you don't have that right now i am in uh, here right first come to uh, root user everything working right or else uh, now see here cat space slash etc pass wd okay now tell user space tell user space user name test user test user Del remove what is this del only right so if you want to delete user you have del user and the command name permission would be required i am a root user only right uh, which user i am in pwd root only right correct only now del del user let me delete dev apps also. dev ops dev apps maybe here it won't work uh, remove user try del group it must be same i am in root tone maybe here uh, this is a portable right command is same only maybe here it won't work if you go linux missions 100 percent it will work or we can use a user del also we'll try this one also user del also we can use now i am here right 
so cash play slash etc slash pass wd now what is this command user del we can use this one also see here we can use uh, so this one also user del and a user name but make sure that uh, you are a admin user you are a admin user dev apps now see here user deleted del user or user del user del we can use it okay now check it cat space slash etc slash pass wd now we can see dev apps user so what is the command user del space test user that is the username now deleted so del user it won't work you need to use user del you need to use user del same way if you want to delete the group also we can use same command okay del group or group delete uh, we can use that uh, group name also this is the same one now already you know change ownership of the file i hope everyone knows see its mode so how to change ownership under so touch space uh, so dev dot txt this is my default file and what is the permission file here default here read and write see read write write uh, read write read read so here root if you want to change the ownership chwo chwo wn change owner already previous class we discussed just check it and whatever you want we can change change the group of user this is also we can same so this is a command user mode hyphen g and whatever you want we can add it this is the user mode user mode hyphen g group name and username whatever you want if you want to change so this is the already previous class we discussed how to work with the ch mode change one or how to change group username group name and all add these are the multiple groups also we can add it see while assigning the secondary groups to user account we can easily assign multiple groups at, at once by separating the list if you want to we can add users to multiple groups so if you want to if this is a user right if any user if you want to add multiple groups so that case this is a command user mode small a capital g small a cap small a and capital g group one group one and username so now in this case what we will this user added to these three groups so this is the command this is the command user mode user mode iphone small a and capital iphone g a means all g group group and these are the group names what are the group we have and uh, give separation and at the end uh, username devops so now this user is adding this many groups how many groups we added here those many groups a user will be added that is the user mode hyphen a hyphen g group names we can give one two three like this how many groups you want we can pass same here. see here multiple groups we can easily assign multiple groups at once by separating the list with command now same way how to check availability groups so if you want to check availability groups this is a groups command this is the groups command now see here g r o u p s groups command now here we don't we need g r o u p s groups command now we are in only root is a root group only available and uh, suppose if we have multiple groups and uh, so first you use one group name how to use the add group name this is the add group create group here yeah, right so this is a group name a file with s1 command another user switch how to add user this is a group new group right sudo add group sudo add group so this is the sudo add group sudo sudo means uh, super user and do it so add command this can use sudo permission to require command sudo add group and uh, so it is asking group name and all it is asking group name and all Group add. Okay, we need to give reverse command. Some commands, few commands, it won't work. 
and uh, so now that case we are using uh, so that command now come to here last how to add a user to butler groups add user hyphen a hyphen g and group names and uh, we can give that name check availability multiple groups this is okay now if you want to check uh, groups this is uh, a command list all groups that you have belongs to so which groups you are belongs to so we can see that groups and change the password pass wd pass wd whenever if you want to change or if you want to set the password pass wd only same command next step so here add user user add see here user add is the built-in linux command add user is the that is different command add user not standard linux command and some cases it is working some case it won't work so that is the difference between add user and user add both are same one day now this is the sudo command sudo means you know right uh, super user sudo means a uh, super user that is nothing but root user nothing but uh, this is administrator super user has full permission super user can do anything this is the like administrator it is acting as like a administrator Sofar has full permission and uh, Sofar user can do anything. But regular user means uh, only based on uh, user access level, we are giving some permissions. Uh, whether it is read access, write access, and delete access, uh, we are providing specific permissions. But user, Sofar user, but Sofar sudo, Sofar user, sudo means Sofar user. Sofar has full permissions. Uh, it is active, uh, administrator. Administrator, you know, right? It will act all roles. Now we can use sudo command to execute the command another user. Mostly we are using a sudo command. So generally while they are running any command, mostly we are using which command? Sudo command. So here sudo it won't work. This is the, uh, you know, right, temporary, right? Here it won't work. Mostly while running any command through user. In that case mostly we are using sudo space sudo space command name sudo space command and all we are passing so that is the sudo super user already we seen now sudo ers so which command uh, sudo ers means uh, this command is execute good by sudo butler users information is configured in the sudo ers file which means which is the parent etc directory system administrator are responsible for configure this file configure this file this file is available under the etc you know right what is etc configuration directory it is nothing but configuration directory under the configuration directory we can see this file okay let me check it whether it is available or not here so first go to cd slash etc cd slash etc under etc what is the file name sudo ers sudo ers now check it here whether that file is available or not sudo ers su right pq sudo sudo ers ll hyphen now check it sudo sudo ers so this configuration is there uh, do we have any file i think uh, here no no file Okay, but in Linux mission, 100% we can see this file. 100% we can see this file. And uh, this is a sudo particular user information and all. We can mostly administrator configure this file. So if you want, we can modify anything, whatever you want. So this is the configuration file. This uh, In this configuration file, we, this many information we can find. Uh, see, uh, configure sudo as file, which is uh, present in the this is the directory system administrators are responsible for this file so these are the many information there is a lot of information available here and whatever you want we can update this path and all what is the host what is the permissions see here user privileges and all mostly we are adding here and uh, there is many lines available and based on this we can uh, update here sudo hyphen l it will display the allow commands per user by the sudo so maybe few commands it won't work here so this is the sudo hyphen sudo hyphen l sudo hyphen l 
so sudo it won't work here this is the this is the sudo won't work here we need to check uh, linux machines only now this is the uh, i will explain for how to connect uh, how to connect linux mission with the uh, putty right so as of now we are connecting uh, aws mission aws linux mission via ssh via git bash only and same way if you want to connect uh, so in real time mostly uh, we are using only putty only or mobile external so what is this meaning uh, so my this linux credential is not working we need to reset that email address is different guy i need to check with that guy okay next class i will show you so generally if you want to connect any linux mission aws uh, we have pm file right public key private key and here we are right click and we are clicking git bash so under git bash we are using ssh ssh and key name and uh, so username at and we are using that ip by connecting but real time we can connect uh, so we can connect we can connect via so we can connect via putty also mostly we are using putty see here working with putty can be user connect with the remote linux servers if any remote if any linux servers remotely linux open to not only linux any servers so if you want to connect any servers remote servers and uh, so in real time we can use many tools uh, so the popular one is uh, putty so with the help of putty we can uh, first we need this is very simple uh, software only just try to install putty and uh, so now it is asking uh, same story so if you want to download uh, we can use this is the command so this is the this is the official website go to here and just install it okay go to here just type download download putty that's it if you click on this this is the official website see here www.putty.org if you click on this so here uh, there is many things available whatever you want we can uh, download it so ss server uh, what is bit server download putty if you click on download putty so that's it now if you see here uh, which what type of file you want whether you want a msf file microsoft installer and uh, so you, whether you need a zip file this is for linux uh, and this is for uh, windows uh. and if you want to we can install directly via exe file also see here based on your operating system we can select uh, which is suitable for you click on anyone click on anyone that's it click on anyone so these are the so these are the very simple only so suppose i need uh, this year i need this x file or msf file whatever you want you can click it so based on your operating system 64 or 32 bit my operating system is 64 right click on the 64 so see here automatically start with downloaded see here this is very simple so msf file or else we can download exe file also exe see here what are there is different model different flavors available whichever you want we can download it whichever you want we can download it i will show you this one how to connect right now i don't have a linux machine right aws i will show you leave it here like this it will come this is a gui mode now this is very very important mostly we are using a check ip address in windows if you want to check any ip address in windows if you want to check any ip address and if you go here if you want to check uh, ip config right ip config ip config if you use see here we will get some information about your uh, network lan so we will get some information what is the ip you are using uh, what is the mac uh, so everything we can find here this is a windows uh, and same way if you want to find in linux machine if you want to find in linux machine so mostly we are using uh, this is a command IP, if config there ip here if config if you use if config here also it won't work this command is not found we need to install okay m install install uh, or we can use the network tools we are using ip a command ip space a ip ip space a a, a for real IP space A, not iPhone. IP space A. 
we can use this command also in actual missions it will work if config also if I, there is a many ways right so it is also working but this is a portable right uh, we need to install ip tables and all then only it will work this is the other way if ip a and ip br a see from the terminal we can use the following command we can use anyone that is your wish so now here if config not working right ip is working so if you install ip tables and all uh, this command also it working ip if config ip space a ip uh, iphone br space a who can use anyone this is the if you want to find some information about your uh, you know right uh, ip addresses i want to check my ip address i want to check my land uh, that is uh, what is that information in that case we can use anyone so that thing uh, just it will display information see here uh, this is my ip address what ip address you are using uh, so that information all we can see here only for checking you know right ping command for checking the command setup now same way how to install ssh server and client already you know how to install ssh in uh, linux mission already sar installed right how to install jenkins server and how to restart the servers and uh, you know right uh, so what is the how many ways this rc sudo service sss restart so apt install install open ssh server and uh, if you want to we can install that particular client this is the service service name and whether you want to restart or status whatever you want anyway right now we don't have let me try it whether it will work or not mostly it won't work let's try it apt install open ssh server client i'm copying but in actual missions and all uh, we can do it here it won't right now type it apt get install here line is right m install m install m install open ssh open ssh hyphen server space let's try this one anyway it is installing no now i'm using particular client okay uh, what is this next uh, they want uh, so open ssh client open ssh hyphen client slvl ent client now yes now see here uh, if you want to install any package in linux uh, what is the command m m is the command okay now how to check that status and all this is the command if you want to restart you can first check it ssh service ssh status service ssh status status means you can check whether it is sir service service command also not install so we need to install service also and if you want to restart start the service we can use ssh uh, service ssh restart or service ssh status same in jenkins we are using right service jenkins status service and all we can use or else we can use system ctl also we can use it or else we can use system ctl also we can use it all are same only we can use anyone this is a mobile external right now i didn't install we'll see x uh, there is different ways we can use so we can use putty or we can use excel or we can use mobile external whatever you want we can install whatever you want we can work with uh, this is the this is the tools to connect from connect through via uh, your local mission to your windows mission to if you want to connect any linux servers and we can use putty or we can use mobile extern or we can use uh, so excel also all are same only to connect the servers only to connect the servers as of now we connected mostly via bit uh, bash right so instead of bash if you want to connect putty or if you want to connect mobile extern or if you want to connect excel so we need to install these are the very simple softwares and uh, these are the very third party simple softwares and once you install it is asking the server id port number and username password or any public or private key and with the help of you can easily connect from your local to server remote servers local to remote servers nothing don't think we are this is very simple only 
now how to customize open source software code this is the sum of code mostly no need and this is very very important u name so interview also most of the people they ask this question what is u name and what is the purpose u name means i want to know which flavor operating system see here uh, clear the screen this is not this is the thank you right now go to here u name see here mostly people are asking u name if you use u name so it is showing which operating system guys linux and uh, so if you want to there is multiple see u name hyphen hyphen kernel u name kernel name we can get uh, linux if you want to know that is related see here option print only kernel name if you want to print operating system name also so that case operating system operating hyphen system operating hyphen system we can use both that is your wish so u name u name hyphen hyphen kernel kernel hyphen name both are same only kernel k e r n e l right kernel 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 both are see if you use u name or if you pass uh, hyphen hyphen kernel hyphen name what it will print it will print the kernel name only i want to know operating system name so that case we are using what is this operating system hyphen hyphen operating operating hyphen see here operating oper, operating hyphen system operating system we can use any one s y s t e m so now it will give full operating system name so instead of passing this much length simply we can pass this are the see here u name hyphen hyphen help if you type help we can give a means all okay a means all n means no s means kernel name see here hyphen s we can use and operating system hyphen o we can use instead of passing this much length simply we can give u name simply we can give these are the very very important enter also most of the people hyphen s now see here u name hyphen hyphen what is this for uh, operating system name s means uh, that is kernel name o right o now see here this is the hyphen s hyphen o or we can use a uh, hyphen a a means all see here entire information see here hyphen a means all we can find see that particular version this is a very very important command u name you can print system information by using u name command so if you want to print which operating system i am using so that and all if you want to get we can use this is the command a means all s means operating system and this is a full operating system. kernel name only hyphen s means kernel name hyphen o means full operating system name if you want to print everything hyphen h simply that's it then there is remaining options available just give help and all now go to here and uh, this is the go to here uh, this is the process management process management means uh, here what are the process you are running see process status ps is nothing but process status i want to check see here you can perform process management by using ps command now if you use ps command here now see here ps command so here there is running only two it is running bash and this is a ps only now so see here it is a ps hyphen e e means everything i want to know everything ps hyphen hyphen e everything see here so i want to pid process id p uh, tti what is the time and the cmd which prompt it is executing and all it is showing process and ps hyphen ef f means a uh, full listing e means everything full listing ps hyphen ef mostly we are using pf hyphen ef ef means see here what is the time and what is the prompt what is the full path script is executing and all so we are using ps hyphen ef ps hyphen mostly we are using this command ps hyphen ef means it shows a full listing of all processes here f means full listing e means everything e means everything f means a full listing format and like this whatever you want so we can check it
and filtering if you want to filter something and ps hyphen f hyphen u and username so it shows all processes which are running related to that user now first let me create one user right now do we have any user here see here cat space slash etc slash pass wd now i don't have and the user add user add user add i am giving also ramna see here user is created and uh, so user add i am using also shiva and uh, so user add i give so now i have three users i want to check i want to know see here which shows all processes which are running related to particular user so if you use uh, this one means uh, pf ps hyphen ef means it will display entire information i don't want all only particular user that case ps hyphen f hyphen u user user name this is a command ps hyphen f hyphen u which user ramana user so right now in ramana now no processors are running particular user so it is not running anything so this is a command ps hyphen f hyphen u and user name here f means full e means everything f means full e means everything so see here full listing and e means everything now same thing if you want to find if you want to uh, root user so this is the uh, you need to pass root only now if you want to uh, show the process id related to the uh, this process id i want to know this process related information and that case we need to know this one and ppi if you want to show this is the same we can hyphen f now commonly used other ps command ps hyphen eh h means display the processes tree i want to you know write its tree how it will work so processes processes tree process tree means it will print like this tree format so what is this what is the root what is the sub this is the root this is the sub this is the root this is sub so like the tree format if you want to check it this is the e means everything h means uh, this is the root level like uh, you know right tree process and uh, so this is the display the process tree like this also but no one is asking for your understanding we can practice it psp process tree format and this is the top command this is very very important so what is the top command top means uh, memory management i want to know something see here we can see top command to see the process which consumed resources like memory cpu utilization how much memory cpu using uh, this current operating system i want to know this is the top command most we are using top means it will display memory see here what is this uh, total uh, up and days and one user and load and what is the memory task nine total one running eight sleeping now come to here uh, what is this this is a pid process id which is a user and a pr everything we can see and same way we can see free memory see here total this is a free this is the kilobyte memory how much uh, this is a total and this is a free this information and all we can find it so that case mostly we are using top command we can we can use top command to see process with consumed resources like memory and cp utilization and if you use hyphen q come out of the top so now i am in this window right now i am in this so if you use press q now we can come outside now if you come outside of this window you can come outside of this window now same way h top also we can use it it is similar like top only but output will come uh, gy style output come we can use h style h top we can use h top h top so we need to install this command is not found first we need to install so it will display we need first we need to install apt install h top it will install first install m install m install install h top hyphen y nothing that is not available we need to install a different way okay we can see that and all gy low gy mode if you want to see we can check it but in actual linux machines and all everything working fine you don't worry 
now how to kill the process if you want to kill the process we can use kill hyphen night and process id process id so we can kill multiple process simultaneously also if you want to we can kill multiple this are the process id in windows we are using right kill task if you go to task manager if you go to task manager if you go to task manager taskbar manager this we can see task manager so these are the running tasks right processes what are the task manager so these are the running suppose if any for example my browser is hanging so we are selecting this and we are selecting this we are the so run, kill the kill the task right end task we are using end task this is a windows we are following a, go to task manager and we are kill that particular process we are kill the particular process same way if you want to kill same way if you want to kill linux mission this is the command kill kill space hyphen and sorry hyphen night and process id before that we need to check uh, ps hyphen ef first we need to this are the process id see here this are the process id suppose if you want to kill any process id this is the command kill kill space hyphen night space and process id 1 0 3 4 8 now the process will be killed the process will be killed that's it see here so this is the command suppose if you want to kill multiple process also we can kill it now these are the communication command mostly network people they are using and the right command wall command how it will work and all so mostly no one is asking leave it and in regular machines only we need to check it there is some more command is there uh, usage command usage this is the package already package manager if you want to install any packages sir. so you know right m mostly we are using m command right m is the package manager in red hat so m is the package manager in red hat if you want to install any package in linux mission red hat we are using m in ubuntu mission we are using apt command if you want to install if you want to install anything so we are using only two commands sir. one is m this is the red hat linux and ubuntu and all we are using apt that's it and uh, so whatever you want we can install see here how we are installing and all m install now this is the list installed packages i want to check i want to check what are the packages installed this is the dpkz hyphen l dpkz hyphen l so d p k this is the command what is d p k g hyphen l hyphen l means so right now this is also not available first we need to install this one how to install m this is the linux red hat apt means this is the ubuntu mission if you want to install any package if you want to install any package only mostly we are using two only two only one is m and the second one is apt m mostly we are using linux power and ubuntu we are using apt iphone get or apt we can use that one there is some more command install mysql this and all no need and uh, mysql and all database and all and there is some more commands is a uh, usage this is java and all you don't know this is for only for practice from job controller so this is a cp copy how we are copying and all there is some more du disk usage foreground background also this is a foreground this is a background uh, mostly here uh, there is some uh, this and all uh, some only at command we don't want there is some commands uses uh, memory related commands this is very very important so last one uh, memory related commands so mostly this is my disk space df command means disk disk fragmentation what are the drives how many drives in windows if you see here if you go to my computer if you go to my computer we are finding this is c drive this is d drive this is ef drive c and all this is the memory management right same way linux if you want to check this is a command df command df means uh, this is the disk uh, disk fragmentation it display file system disk faces usage so now same df command if you use the df command 
whether it will work or not now anyway it is working see here so this is the df disk fragmentation and also how much percentage but well, this is the total used this is the total this is used available and we can see how much usage you done so this is the total space this is the used space and this is the remaining space 19 percent i used so that case we are using a df command disk fragmentation it will display file system disk space usage and same way we can pass multiple options also hyphen h human readable format hyphen m megabytes hyphen k kilobytes df hyphen m human readable format and megabytes how much see here df disk fragmentation hyphen m we can use see here and also uh, df disk fragmentation hyphen h human readable format see here how we are seeing earlier this is kilobyte and all right now this is the gb and gb this is the mb this is the 16 gb 64 gb so these are the human readable format human means user and so in this format if you want to check we can pass hyphen h human readable format and we can pass hyphen m megabyte and kilobyte based on your usage your understanding purpose we can use anything now this is very very du disk usage this is the disk fragmentation df means disk fragmentation and usage and what is the drive and how much used there is disk usage there is separate command also is that du du means uh, this is the estimated file use uh, space usage how much used how much used so that and all we can check with the help of du command see here du command see here it will display like this this is the usage. Say it will display directory wise disk usage. It will display directory wise disk usage. And here also we can pass many parameters hyphen k kilobyte hyphen h human readable form hyphen m kilobyte. See here same thing du du disk usage hyphen h human readable format du du hyphen k kilobyte du hyphen kilobyte b byte also whatever you can use a byte also that is m megabyte this is the kilobyte k means kilobyte m means megabyte m means also megabyte whatever you want we can check it so this is the disk usage this is the disk usage it display directory wise disk usage directory wise disk usage but df means this is the disk fragmentation disk fragmentation drives and usage each drives and usage each drives and usage now got it interval also many people they asked what is the difference between df and du this is the drives usage df means disk fragmentation fragmentation drives and usage remaining this is a du means directory wise it will display directory wise it will display display the directory wise disk usage in that case we go for this one and uh, so now we can use iphone a iphone h also all are same this is a free command if you want to only check memory i want to check only memory so if you want to check only memory we can use free command free is nothing but what is the total memory used memory free memory that and all we can find with the help of free command same top command like top means it will give more information if you want to specifically uh, display amount of free and used memory in the system and that case mostly we are using free command so mostly we are using free command so mostly we are using free command and uh, so these are the free these are the network command telnet telnet means uh, telnet protocol used to connect to the remote servers so connect to the remote servers if you want to connect the remote servers we are using telnet or some other ftp also file transfer also we can most network people they are using there is one more command is the net state command ftp file transfer protocol uh, there is mostly interview they are asking one command uh, this is win SAP. if you want to copy files from local to i will show you win SAP how to work with this is filezilla we don't want and init command pid there is one command is here Linux, I don't know, telnet, net state command. Let me search it anywhere we miss it. Net state, 
net state. Hmm. See here, how to check a weapon ports. Enter also many people they asked. This is very very important, a net state command. So net state means uh, weapon ports available in the Linux mission. Available in the Linux mission. If you want to check what are the port numbers, which port numbers you allowed. So you know, right, for example, Jenkins server is running. What is the port number 8080? Tamcar server is running. What is the port number 8080? So like this, if you want to see, if you want to check weapon ports available in the Linux mission, this is the command. Mostly we are using net state command. Net state. Maybe here it will not work. We can use anything. First you need to install. M install in instl net state maybe this is different package we need to use a different not this one we need to get up google and get it and check this is the command just remember net state command if you want to check weapon ports if you want to check weapon ports and all so net state hyphen now it will give this information now it will give like this information so now it will give like this information and all okay net state command what is the command net state command so now so t u n l p these are the arguments active internet connect connections only it will work it will work so before that we need to install before that we need to install this uh, package otherwise it won't work net state hyper t u l P N T U that is a table uh, that is used and all we can check it. Actual Linux machines this all are working, but this is the portable we are using, right? That is the reason here it won't work. Okay, so clear guys. Just to practice. If you have any doubt, we can ask next class also. I will show you how to copy from local machine to Linux server. How to copy local machine to Linux server? Linux server to local machine. So we need to install uh, Windows CP and all. So that and all I will show you one class. So how to work with local to Linux server. If any files copying from server to Linux, local also can do it.